Hello Targ, our friends. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and once again it's time for another Orc Mode workout and today was Max Effort Bench Press Day. And just a quick reminder for those of you who enjoy watching these vlogs every day, please click like down below before we get to the one rep max. You guys know you enjoy these or you wouldn't watch it and I still can get less than 10% of you to click like who watch these every day. Uh, but if you do, help me keep the likes higher than the dislikes and reach down and click like on all my other videos today. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Now, over to the maxing. Yes, I'm using my random sheet, which I kind of showed the other day. Today was a half board, which is less than a one inch board press. As you guys can see from the bench block I'm using, I'm using the half board setting. It's just under an inch, right? It's about three quarters of an inch reduced range of motion, but that's enough to count it as a different lift, right? Against 20% band tension, which in this case is going to be about 65 pounds. So I used a 65 pound rogue band set, which I've measured these. They are 65 pounds. It's about 33 per band. So um, we got a pretty good max today. In fact, 295 felt really good on this. You know, and considering that it's 360, about the last half of the rep. Usually about the last half of the rep is when the bands really kick in. The people need to remember the bands are still under tension at the bottom. So it's not actually 100% true weight. There's probably a few pounds at the bottom and then they engage pretty quickly. All things considered, um, I'm pretty happy with this uh, because I ended up getting 315. It was a little grindy on the lockout, especially pushing against those bands because I mean, once I start getting, you know, 370 plus weight pressing against it and that, the band tension pulling against it, it was hard. So honestly, I was really happy with this because my best bench against 50 pounds of bands it's only 10 pounds heavier than this so that extra band tension though i mean i'm going to count that as a pr absolutely a pr and it is um, and I'm, I'm really happy with it um, and like i said it was a little grindy on the lockout and people always ask you know do you feel tricep on that no i always feel chest and today i decided let's just push prs on supplemental work um, i didn't do board presses today because i realized the boards take a lot out of me and there's going to be a place for doing more and more board work here and there, rotating it in. But I feel like the closed grip pressing itself, which seems to be fed by my JM presses, really seems to be helping me tremendously. I think the closed grip presses and the speed work are doing a ton. A ton for me on my benching. I think that's why it's going up. So I decided to PR this, right? Like, I'm usually less fatigued after a max than I am after speed work. So let me see if I can just bump this another five. And I did. We got three by ten. And that's the beauty of what I'm doing three sets of, of just, you know, very, very challenging three sets instead of trying to do five sets. I can get more tension. I get more weight even for the same number of reps. Every one of these sets were challenging. I had to grind a little bit on the last one. But what did I get? I got the three by ten with 245. Now I've already said my goal... My goal for the close grip is to get three sets of 10 with 275. Well, we're already up 20 pounds, so we'll see what we can do. And when we stall on this, we'll change bars. Right? We'll change bars, we'll mess with half boards, mess with the buffalo bar. So we'll change range of motion around a little bit. We'll tinker with it to keep progressing. So when we finally stall on this, we'll, we'll do that. And we'll rotate bars around until we get to that 275. But you know what? I'm happy with this. Like, I'm really happy with this today. This is good PR on the max. Good PR on my most important supplemental lift right here. At least my big ones. All right? Three sets of ten with this. Three sets of ten with this. I mean, that's absolutely what I need to see. That's what I want to see. That's what we have to see keep moving forward and that's going to be the name of it yes i'm doing less volume per exercise now i'm doing more exercises and i think you guys are going to see my my lower body days are going to tend to be more volume because i'm going to throw in more upper body stuff i think i'm going to start messing with shrugs again also on max effort squat and deadlift days i need the upper back i need the trap I need the whole mid trap right got to build that shoulder girdle upper back everything Shrugs will help. Uh, we went up micro-loaded. Just put another two and a half pounds with the fractional plates on the JM press. 
lit my triceps up but it was a PR and I managed to squeeze out an extra rep or two I lost count it was one or two reps on the final set so I got my 3 by 10 with a new weight but because I was able to get a little bit more what does that tell us next workout I think I can step up another micro plate all right this is 142 and a half we'll see if we can get 145 what's our goal for this 155 or 3 by 10 in the short term right I feel like that will equal bench PR I feel like getting this up to that point should be getting my triceps strong enough to do what I need them to do on the close grip because I feel like if I can get my triceps strong enough the whole close grip will be strong enough that I can keep the pecs and everything growing and working I just can't let my triceps limit me because a lot of times when I start failing those close grips even the rep work it's the triceps at the end it's the last couple reps or so it's that struggle to lock it because I feel the close grip is for me really is a chest and front delt exercise I don't really feel that much tricep until I grind one and hit failure then I feel tricep so really these are just to make sure that I keep progressing on it is to handle my kind of my weak link there that ends up being fatigued and we know bench lockouts are my weakness even even pushing against those bands it's that lockout that always gets me right if I can get it moving I'm usually good but it's sometimes the lockouts are what I've actually failed midway the top half or higher and I always grind my lockouts especially with a wider grip so again more tricep but I do want to be clear that close grip bench press is for me an overall chest tricep delt hypertrophy exercise it's not because I think it's tricep dominant because for me it really isn't um, PR these today inverted rows uh, and sometimes it's a little hard to keep my, my knees straight on these depending on how I set the pads it's why the first set I ended up getting more reps I think but I used six inches today and you get like 13 and I think the final set I only got 10 same thing on these guys same thing on these what are we doing trying to get at least 10 reps three all-out sets pretty much to failure important grip exercise mid back upper back it's really the only lat exercise I'm doing right now why my lats are big my lats grow easy I need to make sure that my training hits just as much upper back anything that hits my lat I need it to hit the whole upper back all right and I'm tending to agree more and more with some strength coaches who feel that while chin-ups and pull-ups are fun while they can make people look good they don't particularly make you strong they don't make you that strong because they don't get enough upper back and that upper back really makes or breaks you which is why we come to these wide grip upright rows and yes there's a little bit of cheat on some of these it's almost some people would argue with eventually you're, you're going to turn into a high pull for you yeah they'll eventually end up being like a snatch grip high pull that's fine I don't care as long as the tension is there and they work first time I did these first couple times I did these I had such ridiculous doms in my mid delt and rear delt that it was excruciating we're going to keep pushing these I'm going to keep trying to PR on these try to get three sets of ten with a heavier and heavier weight All right and this is for my entire shoulder girdle all three heads of the delt traps okay I need to make that stuff grow both for strength and stability purposes and actually probably to look better let's be realistic I'm um, cutting for those curious I'm down to 225 from 230 we're still hitting PRs I have another 10 pounds of fat to lose and if I keep getting stronger we know that 10 pounds is going to be pure body fat it's not going to be lean tissue and I've proven with DEXA scans before I can lose 15 pounds of fat with no lean tissue loss it's gonna be the name of the game we want to make gains that's why I'm going to slow cut people are like man it's taking you like five weeks to lose five pounds yeah so what I'm getting stronger while losing a pound of fat a week so if in another 10 weeks I'm stronger still with 10 pounds less fat I think most advanced lifters dream of that I have everything pretty well dialed in but I need my shoulders to be bigger we need bigger arms as I lose more body fat and lose that waistline uh, more delt will only help my outreach on my channel I don't care about look I care about strength but we do what we got to do then we do the curls 
Now these I managed to get all three sets of 10 with this way. The last couple workouts has been like eight, nine on the last set of these cheat curls. And eventually these will stall and I may need to switch to a different bar. Right, because everything needs to progress. I can switch to an easy bar with a narrower grip and then come back to these with a wider grip. As long as we keep trying to progress. You know, as long as we keep trying to progress. Um, but the thing to remember there, that wider grip with the straight bar and the wrist cock back is important to not strain your forearms, not to get tendonitis, not to get golfer's elbow. Okay, usually guys, you talk about the straight bar hurting their forearms just because they don't do them right. Look at the difference of how I'm doing that. I'm pretty much on the rings. Almost on the rings. Wrist cock back. Not letting it turn into a wrist curl. I do plenty of forearm and grip work. I don't need my curls to do it. And we don't mind a little bit of cheat, a little bit of momentum. It's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. And again, six sets of these every week, just three on each of my upper body days. Because I do so much pulling and other stuff, my biceps are getting work. It's just to make sure I'm finishing them off. Just because they need it. I need more arm. Not that I care that much, but audience cares. Again, as I lose body fat, having a little more arm, a little more delt, isn't going to hurt things. Even if we argue they're not the most important muscles for our list. But you know what? They Do they help the bench press? Yeah. More side delt, more rear delt, more stable platform to bench from. More bicep gives you possibly a couple more pounds out of the bottom. Because of the cushion and the stabilizing. It could matter. I mean, those muscles could make or break you on that last five pounds. So we might as well. Then we do the face pulls just to finish off. And I couldn't do many reps with these today with this heavier band. I got like 10 to 12. My biceps were still shot because I didn't really take a break. I just re-racked the weights off the thing and left the camera on. and just came over and hit the button again. Um, so these were only about a minute apart and a minute after doing my curls. And I was pretty well fatigued. That's all I had left. But you know what? We got PRs today on most of the supplemental work. We got a bench PR on a new exercise, which, which realistically, when we look at mid-range and lockouts, probably an all-out PR. But it doesn't matter. We track them separate anyways using the new system. So I'm really, really happy with today's workout. So I hope it has been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.